Now, in this lecture, we'll talk about static methods and properties. Static methods is a method that start with a static keyword. Static method can be called directly without creating an instance of the class. Static methods are declared with a static keyword. So we start with a static keyword, then specify function, and then specify the function name. The same goes for the static properties. The static properties start with the static keyword, then we have the property name and the value. Now let me show you a simple example of static method and property. So I'm going to simply create here a class news and create a static property. So I'm going to start with a static keyword and then specify the property name. And then I'm going to initialize some value to this good news property. So this is the very simple way you can create a static property in PHP. Now to create a static method, you can start with a static keyword then specify the function and the function name and in the body you can write your php code so in the body section i'm going to just echo this static property now as you can notice the static property can call with the self keyword with the scope resolution operator so i'm going to use self with scope resolution operator to call this static property i'm going to just create object of this class to call this method so i'm going to simply create here an object with new keyword and then specify the news class so using this object, we can access this static method. So I'm going to simply call here object static method. Now when I execute this statement, it's going to echo this value. Now in the previous lecture, you learned how to create a constant property and access it using self keyword. Now this example looks pretty much like constant property. You know constant can only be accessed through self keyword followed by the scope resolution operator. Now the cool thing is you can access this static method and this property without creating this object. Let me show you how you can do that. I want to call this static method. I'm going to simply call here news. Then I'm going to specify the scope resolution operator. And then I'm going to specify the static method name. When you execute this statement, it's going to echo this value. Now you're not limited to only access this static method. You can also access this static property as well. So if I just say here echo news with scope resolution operator, and then I'm going to specify the property. I'm going to have this value using this statement. You know that the constant variable can be declared only once and you can't change the value of the constant variable once you declare it. The opposite of the constant, you can change the value of the static property whenever you want. For example, before this echo, I'm going to just change the value of this property. So if I just call here a new statement and if I say here self scope resolution operator and just call the good news property and I'm going to just change the value of this property. And when I echo this statement, this will just echo this string. Now there is one more way you can call this property or method without using this self keyword. You can call the class name instead of specifying this self keyword. So if I just call here news and specify that here, then this is also a valid statement. Using the class name, I can call the method as well. For example, if I create here another method and in this method, I'm going to just return news and I'm going to just call this static method using the class name. So this method is going to return this method. I'm going to just get rid of this echo and just say here return. Now the interesting thing of the static method is you can access static method and property super easily in the inherited class. So for example, let's say if I just create here one more class domain and I'm going to just inherit this news class. So this is the child class of this domain. And in this domain class, I'm going to create a property name and create a simple constructor. In this constructor, I'm going to call this property and specify change static method. You can notice I'm using parent keyword to access the change static method of the news class. Now this is one of the most easiest way you can access the child method in the parent class. So you just need to specify parent, then specify the scope resolution operator, and then specify your static method name. And then I can create an object of this class and just call this constructor. So if I just say here object, specify new keyword, then specify domain, and as you know, we don't have any argument to this constructor. So I'm going to leave this parenthesis as it is. And then I'm going to call this name property. So I'm going to say here echo object name. So when I call this statement, it's going to call a method of the child class using this statement. So this statement is going to call a change static method of the child class. This will just return the static method, this one. And this is going to return the property value. So this statement is going to echo this value. Now I hope you understand how to use static property and method in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.